Tomato, tomato, tomato time, time for tomato. Tomato, tomato, tomato time, time for tomato. Cha 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 we got it. This letter is to confirm our arrangements for the airing of your proposed public access show on Cox Cable. As a reminder, our public access channel is operated under our public access guidelines. Such guidelines are stipulated in our operating franchises. Ooh. They capitalize franchises. It's absolutely important. It's like a McDonald's franchise. Yeah, McDonald's, yeah. Wendy's. I had an uncle franchise. franchise. He had an uncle named Franchise. <laughs> he was a good guy. Yeah. Super size. You are required to meet the same production and content standards as our other public access shows, like Scene Stealers. Ooh. You like that? Scene Stealers is a good show. Good show. Oh, yeah. Stealers is a good show. You're not allowed to watch that show. You aren't allowed to watch it. That's okay. <laughs> what about nudity? <laughs> Uh, no nudity. No nudity. Half nudity. Half nudist. Half nudist is fine as long as it's you know. In good nature. The left, the right half. Uh -oh. Okay, <laughs> let's keep the right half naked and not the left. Um, in closing, we are pleased to offer you such as access to our seventy-eight thousand Cox customers. Ooh, you know how many seventy-eight thousand is? That's, 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 that's at least yeah. two, two times. Thirty something thousand. Yeah, it is, wow. man. And that's from Miss Rhonda Duncan. Great lady. Ooh, Duncan. 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 Yeah. 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 Come on, guys. Yeah. Come on, yeah. the show. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
society, you know? Uh -huh. By the Catholic. It's difficult. Yes. Um, yes. You know, it's that bicameral mind, if you will. Uh, you know, one half is naked, the other half is religious. So I know how it gets difficult. Well, it's tough for these two halves to meet. Absolutely. I mean, th there's no meeting point. And that's what you, I mean, what in your organization, um, let's find a meeting point for nudists and Catholics. We call it Nathlix. Nathlix, excellent. Yes, um, I, so, I but, but, but I mean, that's the that's real reason you came on the show, is to raise awareness, um, to try to find that meeting point. Between I really did. I really did. did. I'd like to say I work hard for a living, but I'm unemployed, so that means I have zero dollars. This ain't even my house. So I have nothing to spend on a brand name soft drink. Okay, so when I'm sitting around watching the Golden Girls on Lifetime or trading spaces on TLC, I need something to quench my manly thirst. That's what I reach for. A tall glass of black. You hear that fizz? That's the sound of savings. It might not be a real cola, but it almost tastes like one. Brought to you by the makers of orange, purple, and magenta. Uh, hello, my name is Vladimir. I am 128 years old. I am 12th generation Romanian. Uh, I really don't know why you guys are doing this um, documentary about me. I'm not that interesting. Uh, so growing up you never felt any different? Uh, no different than any other 12th generation Romanian growing up in the Bible Belt. <laughs> I didn't go to church much, but uh, other than that, life's good. Um, he's definitely got a problem. Big problem. It's it's a drinking problem. Now he drinks blood. Yeah, lots and lots of blood. He's a vampire. Lots of hemoglobin. So how has this affected his daily life? Um, he actually can't even keep down a job. He's worked at an office. Yeah. Vlad, can I see you for a second? Sure, what can I do you for, Mr. Peterson? What's this? Lunch? A blood bank. And don't ever come back again! So how do you plan on dealing with this problem? We're actually going to set up a uh, intervention. Yeah, intervention. You know what, he does not need to go through this intervention. You know what, he is a good man. He is not a vampire, and I don't know what you're talking about with this whole drinking problem thing. I mean, he's just 12th generation Romanian. That doesn't make him a bad, evil man. So, no, I just don't agree with this at all. I think it's stupid and repulsive, and that's all I have to say about that. Hm. Hi, my name's Eugene Filipinas. I'm an intervention expert. I've been intervening professionally for three years now. Uh, Vlad's friends called me because they want to try to help him kick the sauce, so I'm going to try to see what I can do for him, get him started on a new life. Positive energy, support so just positive energy, guys. Here he is. Hi, Vlad. I'm Eugene Filipinas, intervention expert. I'm here to talk to you about your problem. A problem? Would that be Eugene? problem. Here, have a seat. I don't have a drinking problem. I'm not taking a seat. Just get straight through this. When do you drink? When does he not drink, Eugene? You can shut up, Susan! Listen, let's just focus on the problem here, which is, you're a vampire, Vlad. I'm going to help you deal with it. <laughs> Quit laughing. You're 128 years old and drink blood. So, man, he just have to do with being a vampire. You're a vampire, and you need to come to terms he with that. He keeps denying it. Just He's bring out the toaster. How about we want the drinking problem here? Hey, yeah, buddy, why don't you just look at this toaster? All right, let's look at the toaster. Bring out look the closer. toaster. Look closer. Take a closer look at the toaster. What do you see? The wall. What do you not see in the toaster, Vlad? Me? 
You're a vampire. We're going to help you get through this. We're going to help you come to terms with reality. I looked in a toaster and I wasn't there! Come on guys, positive energy. Positive Let's energy. Just... I am a vampire! It's alright, bud. You're gonna be alright. We're gonna help you get through this. It's what right. we're here for. <laughs> I need help! Well, since the intervention, Eugene told me where I could go for meetings. Alcoholics Anonymous, where we talk about our addictions. Well, they teach you there to write poetry or to find an art medium where you can express what it's like. How do you feel? Good. I feel good. I'm glad I'm off it. Good. Not so good, actually. Feeling really weak, tired. It's really tired, but you know, life's good. Life's good. Cut. Hello, and welcome to the show. I'm your host, Shane. Okay, I'm here with this very special guest, Mr. Jacob Y., the founder and leader of the ALF, the Amish Liberation Front. Um, it's good to have you here. It's good to be here. I normally don't like to be photographed, but uh, I do make exceptions from time to time. Okay, well, that's, well, I mean, like I said, it's very good to have you. Um, the first sh question that I have for you, um, most people associate the Amish with a quiet, simple agrarian lifestyle, um, rejecting modern conveniences such as, you know, motorized farming equipment, things like that. Um, but the ALF, the Amish Liberation Front, wants to change that, okay? Could you elaborate for us? Well, we don't really want to change it so much as take it further beyond okay. the Amish sphere. What Basically, what we're calling for is the the complete and utter destruction of modern society. We are demanding the immediate de-urbanization of America. The banning of all mass communication, except for, of course, public access television. Public access. We are calling for a return to a barter economy to end this global industry and commerce. Uh, we will stop uh, at nothing. Stop at nothing. To okay. achieve our goal. Well, I mean, wow, that is serious business, okay? It's serious, angry business. But I've always been led to believe that a member of the Amish community is expected to be a pacifist. I'm not a pacifist. I'm a realist. You can't stand in the way of regress. And when the Amish revolution comes, you don't want to be left ahead. Oh, okay. I, I mean, I don't want to be left ahead. Um, that's an interesting viewpoint. But how widespread is militant Amishness? Well, first of all, it's not called Amishness. That's not even a word. It's militant and a baptist. I apologize. I'm astounded. Anti-baptism? No, is that what you said? No, no. And the Baptist. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Jacob Y. Um, f following on with uh, my, my 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 questions here. Um, Jacob Y. is not the name you were given at birth, now is it? No, it's not. I was raised the Fourth Day Adventist, but okay. uh, when I converted to the Amish faith and took on that new religious identity, I took on a new name. Okay, okay. But but what is your birth name? Cassius Clay. What? Some of your tactics have been met with a lot of sharp criticism. That is true. Yeah, some of your opponents have even gone as far to say that you are terrorists. Yeah. The Pope, one of your biggest opponents, actually said that you were the worst thing to happen to the world since calendars. What do you, what do you have to say about all this? I don't have time to talk about the Pope. Okay. Terrorists. 
What kind of accusations? Do I look like a terrorist? Do I scare you? Are you scared of me? I'm not scared of you. Well, I mean, I'm only, I'm only halfway scared of you. Um, but, you know, the ALF was allegedly involved in the recent bombings at the North Arctic Embassy. Are you out of your mind? Did you do any research into this before you came up with these questions? Not really. Those bombs at the embassy Mm -hmm. used electronic triggering devices. Okay. No self-respecting Amish would use an electronic triggering device. All right, all right. Prefer propane. Maybe so. Propane. Okay, yes. I understand. Maybe so, though, but what about the recent carriage bombing in Philadelphia? You turn your head. Shane, I respect you as a journalist, but Absolutely. I do not appreciate your allegations. Okay. I will not directly comment on the carriage bombings. Mm -hmm. I will say this. Your modern technological decadent world has been sowing the seeds of its own destruction for centuries now and the Amish will be there to reap the harvest. Okay. And when we do we will not be riding on tractors. No tractors. The past is the future. And the future is the past. Well, I'm going to go ahead and speak for the present. Um, that's all the time we have today. Um, it's good having you here today, Mr. Jacob Y. Um, perhaps we can have you back, you know, at a later date. Perhaps if I don't burn down your studio. Okay, well, tune in next week when our special guest will be Frank Malloy. If he returns our phone calls, just call us back. It's an easy number to remember. Thank you.